Oh, it's gonna be so bad. My hair's a mess, I have no makeup on, and this is technically my breakfast because it's the first thing I'm eating today. <laughs> Starting the day off right. All right. Hello, welcome to my channel. The other night I was uh, looking on YouTube, as one does, and I was watching uh, bloopers from The Office because that's what I do in my spare time. And I came across this video called Kevin Cooks Stuff in the Office. And I love it. <laughs> I thought it would be really funny and a great idea for me to recreate Kevin Malone's cooking hacks in my own home. So, that's what I'm doing today. How to cook like Kevin Malone. Join me, won't you? We are making quesadillas a la Kevin and creme brulee. How I'm going to do this, I have no idea. So, it's all going to be so bad. Like, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this at all. We're going to make quesadillas out of sour cream and onion potato chips and spray cheese. I'm scared about this. I've never had cheese from a can before, or cheese from a can before. I've never tried this before. Um, this was $5, and I can guarantee you this is going right in the trash after I finish this video, because there's no way that I will ever, ever eat this. It literally says no need to refrigerate on the top. That can't be good. What is in here? I'm pretty sure this is just orange plastic in a can. But it's an excellent source of calcium. So we're gonna make quesadillas with chips and spray cheese. And then we're gonna make creme brulee. This is where I don't think it's gonna work. So Kevin makes creme brulee with tapioca pudding from the vending machine and just packets of sugar. I got rice pudding because they only sold tapioca pudding in four packs and I've never had tapioca pudding so I don't know if I'll like it. I've also never had rice pudding so I don't know if I'll like this either, but um, <laughs> there was only one of these and I'd rather just have one and throw it out if I don't like it. <laughs> know if it's gonna be bad I just it's a texture thing for me I don't like things with chunks it looks like there might be like cinnamon or something on the top like there's like a little cinnamon thing milk sugar rice cream rice flour potassium sorbate which is a preservative natural and artificial flavors salt and cinnamon yeah so there's cinnamon on it I mean it doesn't sound bad I mean everything in there sounds okay um, and then I'm gonna just put more sugar on top and put it in the microwave. So, yeah, so we're just gonna start with the quesadillas. All right, let's start. We're gonna open up our chips. Oof, I got a whiff of that. I don't, whoa. I'm just gonna, there's so much like flavoring on those. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's a ridiculous amount of like flavor powder on those. We're gonna make three, just like Kevin did. Pasteurized cheese snack. Made with real cheese. I don't think it was. I'm so nervous. <laughs> do I have to shake, do I need to shake this? Directions, for best results, remove cap, hold applicator tip close to food, press firmly, and slowly move across food surface. I am kind of excited because it looks like it's gonna be really satisfying to like squeeze out. So even if it's disgusting, which it will be, at least it'll be fun. Maybe that's the point of this. Let's just, let's get a nice, let's get a nice shot. Squeeze in the cheese. Uh, let's go on the big one first. Oh, I don't know how hard I have to press. Oh, I have to, you have to press hard. Wait, 
Why is it not coming out? <laughs> Why can't I get it? Do I have to do it this way? <laughs> Am I gonna do it like a really weird way? Watch, this is gonna explode all over me. I can't get it. I can't get it. Hold on. Okay, we're, we're gonna get it, all right. Why, oh my god, I can't, I literally can't get it. Hold on, I gotta move the camera. Oh my god, I literally, I still can't get it. Oh! Oh my god. That's disgusting. <laughs> it is really satisfying though to like watch it. Okay. Those are quesadillas pre-cooked. Before, before cooking. That's what I mean. Okay. Okay, um, now I'm gonna put these in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. And then I have to eat it. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. It was literally in there for 10 seconds and it's all over the place. It literally smells like melted plastic. You can't tell me that this was made with real cheese when it literally just smells like plastic. It smells so bad. We're gonna go with this one because it's the most closed out of all of them. I don't know why I'm so scared. It just seems really gross to me. Oh, it smells so bad. It's not good. It kind of tastes like feet. I've had worse, but it's not good. I don't like the warm sour cream and onion chip, and I don't like the cheese. The cheese, I think the combination of both of them just kind of make it taste like feet. Like, it just, it tastes like something I shouldn't eat. I don't, I don't like that. Do I really want to do this? Okay. We're gonna, I just want to, Ugh, no, I don't like that. Ugh, it leaves like a film in your mouth. Oh my god, what is that? Ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> Moving on to our creme brulee. I have no idea if this is gonna work because I'm putting it in the microwave and not in a toaster oven uh, because this is plastic. It also needs to be refrigerated and it's rice pudding instead of tapioca pudding. Um, but we're gonna give it a try, and if I throw up, then I throw up. It actually smells really good. So you take your tapioca pudding, or in my case, rice pudding, and then you put sugar on top. You really don't need to do any of this. You could just eat your rice pudding, or eat your tapioca pudding, or whatever. So you got your sugar on top. Kevin put it in a toaster oven. We're gonna put it in a microwave because I don't have a toaster oven. I'm gonna do 30 seconds and I'm just gonna like keep my eye on it. It exploded a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there, it exploded a little bit. It kind of like just made like a film on top. If you like rice pudding, I'm sorry if I don't like it. Um, I also may have ruined it. You might wanna put it in the microwave a little bit longer but mine started to explode. Um, it was in there for like 45 seconds. It's not the worst. It would definitely be better cold. Yeah, the sugar on top kind of ruined it. Not really creme brulee, but if all you have is rice pudding and a microwave, and some sugar, you can do it. It's not awful. This is, okay, this is where Kevin had it right. Kevin didn't even get to eat his. He just made his disgusting quesadillas. These are literally awful. Do not make these. Final thoughts, rice pudding looks really gross, doesn't taste very gross. 
Um, this is awful, never do it. Don't, don't do it. But if you do do it, send me a picture on Twitter. <laughs> Cause I wanna see. Um, and finally, I'm gonna throw this out anyways, but I kinda wanna see if I can make a, like, if I can just, I just wanna see how, like, I just kinda wanna, I'm gonna throw it out anyway, so I'm just gonna waste it. I still, <laughs> I just smacked it on my counter, but I still can't even spray it out. <sighs> I can't get it. <laughs> That looks so gross. Yeah, overall, don't listen to Kevin Malone. Don't make these. The tapioca rice pudding creme brulee thing um, wasn't the worst. So if you're gonna try any of these, either of these, uh, try this one. Don't ever try the chip squeezy cheese quesadilla. It's awful, don't do it. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, um, hit the like button, subscribe, you can follow me on my other social medias, the links are down below as usual. Um, if you want to see me do any other cooking things, um, I wanted to try and make Kevin's famous chili, um, cause that opening scene is one of my favorite scenes of The Office ever. <laughs> but <laughs> if you want me to do cooking videos or whatever you want me to do, um, let me know if you if there's something you want to see from me. Um, I will make it. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. So, thanks for watching. All right, <laughs> get out of here. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? Yeah, they did, bitch. Mulan was a girl. My brother brought his pig to our house last night. And now she's gone and I'm so sad. She was so cute. I love that pig.